we're back with Erica Moen. It's good to see you again. Yeah, nice to see you too. So last year we talked a lot about the wrapping up of DAR. Yeah. And um, you're, you're moving on to sort of fine art projects and collage. But now you are back with a brand new series, yeah. Bucko. Yeah. It's a dick and fart joke murder mystery. It's written by Jeff Parker, who writes for The Hulk and Thunderbolts. And he did two of my most favorite graphic novels ever, which were Underground and Mysteriously Unfathomable. And I'm really excited to get to work with him. <laughs> so now, how did you guys end up collaborating on this? Well, uh, actually, what happened was I did an interview for somebody else, uh, a, a written email one, and they posted it on the internet, and they said, like, if you could work with anybody, who would you work with? And I just said, man, I love Jeff Parker's stuff. I'd love to work with him. And I wasn't trying to angle anything. It was just, you know, like, what's your favorite ice cream? Chocolate. Who do you like? Jeff Parker. And, um, and he saw that. Uh, completely independent of any efforts that I'd put out there, he, he stumbled upon that interview, and he comes up to me the next day and is like, you want to work with me? And I was like, oh, my God, um, I mean, yes, but uh, uh, I'm not trying to pull anything. And he's like, we can do that. And, uh, and then he just, we started making a comic together. Um, it's pretty great. <laughs> so Bucko is, um, I, we were talking to Jeff Parker earlier, oh, actually. Really? Yeah, and he's, he mentioned that um, it's, it's very much, you're finding a lot of yourself in this comic. Yes. So <laughs> what, what, what can we find in this comic that is, that is very Erica? Okay, well, um, I, the, the sense of humor itself, I think, is, is pretty in tune with, with the things I joke about. Um, but then, uh, like, the one of the main characters, her name is Jip, she is a, a, an online artisan who makes all these octopus little things that she sells on Etsy.com, which is kind of heavily based upon what, what I do as well. <laughs> and... Um, I, I, I don't know. I don't want to give any spoilers, really. It's kind of spoilery if I go into it too much, but, but there's a lot of stuff that comes up that's, that's definitely based on things that have happened in my life. And, and the title of the comic, even, Bucko, uh, that came from an unfortunate event in which uh, my, my brother is named Eric. Mm -hmm. He spells it with a K. And I call him Bucko, and I have since I was a kid. Just, hey, Bucko, what's up? And there was a very unfortunate incident where my uh, my employer at the moment it, I'm a freelancer so it's not like my, my regular job but his name was also Eric and I picked up my cell phone and it said Eric on it and I answered hey bucko what's up and he's like oh hello Erica I'm just calling about and I was like whoa 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 what the fuck is wrong with your voice and he's like oh well I, I guess I've been a little sick recently and I was like no this isn't Eric this is this is one of his friends you're fucking with me who is this and he's like um Erica this is you know, Eric of, of this company, and I'm calling about the illustrations, and I was like, holy shit, and, and I just started apologizing profusely, and actually, he was really cool with it, he thought it was funny, but, um, so that's why, that's where the name Bucko comes from, is from that incident. So, Bucko itself, the story, I, I don't think I'm giving too much away here, because it's already, you know, what's already been published, it's very much sort of one of those Wrong place, wrong time, kind of like answering the phone type deal. Answering the phone? For you, what you're saying. For your, oh, the my. Yeah. yeah, it's just very much one of those, uh, the, the wrong place, wrong time, uh-oh, coincidence type thing. Yes, very much so. It's just all these unfortunate things happen to this poor guy who just wants to get a job and also do it with that one cute girl. Isn't that everybody's goal? Uh, you should be able to relate to him. He's the everyman. The everyman. So you mentioned that Jeff Parker's writing it, and you're mm -hmm. illustrating it. Are you fully aware of like where this story's going, or are you getting it sort of one little piece of script at a time? I get one page at a time. I, I know kind of overall where mm -hmm. things are going, uh, but page to page, I have no idea what he's doing with it. So for me to find out what happens next, I need to finish my current page so he'll give me the next page of script. It's actually, it's really fun. It keeps me really engaged because the format in which our audience is reading it, one page every so often, that's the exact same format I'm getting it in. Mm -hmm. um, so that's that's fun. <laughs> and so you're working on Bucko. You have, you were saying, your online, you know, octopus farm or tentacles. Um, <laughs> what else are you working on? Well, um, this won't be released until at least 2012, but I'm working on another graphic novel with one of my other favorite writers named Brendan Adkins, and that is a young adult fantasy story about a girl's sketchbook that comes to life, and she has to battle her own drawings to bring reality back. And uh, it's 
Uh, the working title is Grim, although we're going to have to get something a little bit more specific because uh -huh. if you type in Grim into Google, you're going to get a million things that are not our comic. <laughs> so. All right, well, fantastic. Look forward to, to reading it in 2012 and look forward to finding out what happens with Bucko. Okay, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure.